Hello, hello. Today we are going to make this beautiful crystal ribbon necklace. The supplies you'll need, Stretch Magic 0.5 millimeters. I cut five pieces of these six inches long. We're going to need Matubo Magic Copper Beads. These are seed beads. We're going to need 10 of these. These are eight millimeter beads, six millimeter beads, 10. And we'll need five of these little disco balls. These are 10 millimeters. We'll need ribbon class. We'll need two of these. I already put one on this end, four jump rings, a clasp, and we'll need our ribbon. This is three quarters of an inch wide, and I cut three pieces, 15 inches for a choker. And if you want to put an extension, you can use a chain, and we'll, we'll go over that at the end. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to put more of these out because we're going to use these, a lot of these, in each row that we make of our beads. So first we're going to use one strand and we're going to pick up a seed bead. We're going to make the middle one first. So we're going to go with the big disco ball. another disco ball, another seed bead, disco ball, seed bead. So we need five of these balls and it looks like one, two, three, four, five, and five of the seed beads. Then we're going to come in and we're going to knot it. Like we're tying a shoe, a shoelace. One time around. Well, this is slippery. Okay, got it. Then we're going to do it again, make another knot, just an overhand knot. And then we're going to come in and we're going to do our surgeon's knot, which is two times. So we're going to go under and under and tighten that. I like to pull on this a little bit too to tighten it. Okay, we'll come in and we'll cut these ends off later. So we have our first ring made. Let's start again with our C bead. And we're going to go with the eight millimeter. So we have five of these on and we have our spacers in between. Now I'm going to repeat this ring because that ring has to go on the side of this one. So we need one on each side. So
tie it up with one overhand knot Finish with our surgeon's knot. Start with our seed bead. Six millimeter bead. These are crystals in their bronze color. We need one more. Now we'll tie it up. Now we can come and cut all of our ends off. We're going to take our ribbon, kind of bunch it up at the end so we can get our little circles through. And we're going to start with the smallest one and bring it through. Bring this one through. This is the eight millimeter bead. And then the middle one has to be the largest one. And keep going until we finish. And let's get the last circle on. Okay, isn't that pretty? So let's finish off the ribbon necklace. I'm going to take all three of the ends, put them together, and I'm going to cut off this part because this is too long. So we're going to make it even. Then I'm going to get my little lighter and I'm going to kind of melt down the ends because I don't want it to fray. We're gonna let that dry for just a minute. I'm gonna take my three ends together and I'm gonna fold in one side and fold in the other side. On the end of the ribbon clasp, there's little teeth and that's what's gonna secure the ribbon to the clasp. Come in with my flat nose pliers and I'm going to go down on one side first, press that down. I'm going to flip it around and do the other side. Do the middle.
make sure I get everything, get the corners. And then I can give it a tug and see, yeah, it's pretty secure. I'm going to open up my jump ring by twisting it to the left. Then I'm going to add it to my ribbon clasp. Add the clasp to the jump ring and close it up by twisting it to the right. So one end is done. Now I'm going to do this end. And I think I am going to use an extension. So I'm going to open up the jump ring the same way, twisting it, adding it to my ribbon clasp. Now I have to cut a piece of this off. I'm going to take about an inch and a half and I'm going to use my memory wire cutters. And I'm going to add this to my jump ring and close it up. I want to add a little dangle to this, so let me find a something pretty to match this. I have a little bronze leaf. I think that's going to be nice. And I'm going to add a little cone on the top. So what I need is an eye pin. So I opened it up and to open it you just take some pliers, grab it in the circle, and turn it to the right or the left. So I'm turning it up I'm going to put my little leaf on and then I'm going to turn it back. So there I have my little dangle leaf. Then I'm going to add a little cone to it. And then I'm going to wire wrap this to this. So we're going to come in with our chain nose pliers, push it to the back, use our round nose pliers. Come up, over, down, rotate the pliers, bring the wire to the back, I'm going to hang on to the loop, push open the wire, add our chain, We're going to pinch down the hoop that we just made and we're going to wire wrap. We're going to cut off the excess. Push the burr down. And there we have our beautiful ribbon necklace. Thanks for joining me. See you again next time.